Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. Today I wanted to introduce you to our herringbone photo frame. You can use this in a couple of different ways. So I'm gonna walk you through the different options and then I'm gonna walk you through the file as well. Super easy to make. So first of all, this is made for a four inch by six inch photo or postcard. And you can use this either in landscape or in portrait uh, orientation. And there are two different options as far as what pieces you use as well. So I'll walk you through those. So first of all, uh, of course, I don't have a photo because I'm a doofus, so I got a piece of paper. I'm going to show you how this works. So on the back, there is a slot where you just can slide the photo in like that, and you can use it in landscape orientation or in portrait. And then, of course, it would just slide out the side here if it was in portrait or slide out the top if it was in landscape. And you can hang it on the wall, or you can use the included uh, slotted uh, stand like this. I like using it in clear acrylic, so it basically just visually goes away, but you can set it just like that or like this. Looks great on a mantle on a side table. And this particular version right here uh, has kind of all the layers that we've created, and I'm going to show you what they are step by step. So this one has got the back piece right here so that you see it through the herringbone pattern. And we also have a frame uh, piece right here and then a frame here on the outside. Whereas this one here is the simpler version. It does not have a back on it. You see that? So you can see through it. But it does have the frame right here, but it does not have the larger one. You can mix and match however you want. In the file also, and again, I'll show you the parts in just a moment. I also included two different versions. Let me see if I can get it close enough for you. Um, there's one version of this here that is a complete rectangle. And there's another version that has it split on the edges so it looks like a uh, more of a traditional frame. That also uses a lot less material, so you can choose which one you want. And again, this one comes in either a full rectangle or a split piece there. Let's see if you can see the split there, just barely, yeah, and the split there in the corners. So you can choose however you want to do it on that. And again, you can either use the outside frame or not. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So let's walk through the pieces in the file, and I'll show you on the finished one as we go. So first of all, uh, we're going to start from the front and work backwards in the pieces so that'll help you follow along. So first of all, I'll zoom in here. We've got the two options right here of the front frame, this piece right here. You can either use the split pieces like this that all go together on the, on the mitered corners there, or you can use the whole piece that's right here. You don't need both, you just choose one or the other, whichever you prefer. Then the next set of pieces is again, this outside one right here, and you can use the mitered pieces like that or the full piece, again, your preference. Now we are to the main piece there, which is this piece here. Of course, you can also see it here like this, the big piece that has all the herringbone uh, pattern cut out of it. And then the next piece is the piece that goes behind that, uh, which in this case, this one does not have it. This one does. And that's just simply a, a big rectangle that has a, a rectangle cut out in the middle. And you just glue that on the back there. And then these two pieces, you only use one of these. Oh, sorry, I realize I'm blocking it. Let's move it over here so you can see a little better. Uh, so these two pieces, you only use one of them. It doesn't matter which one you use. Depend it just depends on the orientation. So if you're going to turn it vertical like this in this orientation, then you would use uh, this one here because that means that the picture slides in like that. And if you do it like this, then the picture slides in the other way. Uh, technically, you could use just one of them, it doesn't matter, and just rotate it regardless. So it's really up to you if you wanna choose uh, to use one and not the other. But I guess as you can see, it would actually work either way. It can just slide out the side here or I can slide out the top. It doesn't really make a difference. And then that last piece that's there is this piece that uh, goes right here on the back. So as you assemble them, you uh, take this one piece right here, this one here, because I can just point over here. You take this piece here, you choose which one of the spacers you want, you glue it right on top of this, so it goes right around this hole, and then this piece goes on top of that, creating this place to uh, slide the photo into like that. And then uh, in the file, you'll see that I will include this stand here as well. This is made for eighth inch material. It does not need to be tight uh, fit. In fact, I make it loose on purpose. Um, I don't even bother gluing them. You can if you wish, uh, but it can just stand just like this or like that. 
either way. You can use any materials that you like to make these. Uh, you can paint it, you can stain it, you can use pre-finished wood like I did, whichever you prefer. But these are really easy to make. You just decide which version you wanna make and follow those instructions, and it'll be super easy. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, I'd love to see what you make with these, and I'd love to help you if you need a hand. But until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one.